Hello, this is Tom. Welcome to Napco Video Tech Tips. Today I'm going to be going over a program that's downloaded on your computer when you download the Quick Loader software. Uh, people use it, uh, but I've been getting some calls on that in you know, the past year or two or so uh, that you know people want to know more about it. It's actually uh, a nice program where you can do automated uploads, downloads, firmware downloads to radios, uh, changes in panels, changes in telephone numbers, where uh, it's all automated. So let's log in, and today I'm going to be going over basic setup because this is going to be a series of videos since this is a pretty massive program, and uh, there is you know a lot to it. Um, once you get it all set up, though, it really works um, really well. Um, there are quite a few people using this um, that they can set it up for uh, nighttime where they walk out of the office and they press a button, puts it in the batch mode or standby mode, and then how you set it up is just going to call your panels all throughout the night or all throughout the weekend. Um, it will call every panel you have in the list and if it can't connect to a panel, it's automatically going to put that one aside, go to the next one on the list and then once the list is done it's going to go back to the ones it couldn't connect to and then keep on trying and then if for whatever reason it can't connect you'll get a message that it can't connect so let's go in and again this is just going to be on basic setup because this is going to be a series of videos since it's a pretty you know extensive uh, program and there is a little bit you know of um, setup that you have to do but once you get that all set up it's uh, actually a really nice program so let's go into PC Preset. Now PC Preset shares the database with your Quick Loader software. So you can't have the Quick Loader software and the PC Preset open at the same time. Uh, it does have the same login. So you're going to log in with what you log in with your Napco software. And then when you first get in there, depending upon how you're communicating with everything, you do have uh, um, modem ports if you go through your telephone ports. Uh, you do have TCIP communications. You do have radio communications. So depending upon how you set up the list and what you have on each individual panel is going to be depending on how it communicates. So it can go from dial-up and then the next account could be TCIP and the next account after that could be a radio. It's just going to keep on switching over to whatever you have set up in your account. Uh, there is a little bit of uh, you know pre-setup that you have to do so when you first open this up it's going to ask you to go into your uh, communication parameters so what we want to do is just go in there and this is for your telephone communications so you do have to set up your port so right now you can see that there's none in there. That's because I don't have anything plugged into it. Once I plug in my USB converter, I hear that little noise which tells me that it's working. And then if I close in to go into that, it's going to come in and it's going to give me my COM port. Now since I just plugged it in, I probably will have to get out of it, go back into it. And there's my COM port. So, modem port, COM3, since this picked up COM3, we're going to go in and we're going to change your PCI mini port. And then we're going to choose whatever NAPCO modem or whatever modem that we have. All these other features, you know, it's external modem, you touch tone only, you definitely want to have. Speaker volume is just so if you're sitting there and you're just listening in the background, you can hear communicating with. Everything carry detect is going to be on fast, call monitor, uh, I like always because it just lets you know what's going on. Uh, dial tone type standard and then mode one would want to go into and then you hit OK. Now another place that you want to go into is you go into here, file, and you go into dealer settings. Okay, dealer settings again where you can have passwords just like you have with the quick loader. So you can have multiple multiple people logging into here. You just set up your passwords in here, and you give them control of what they can do. So you know if you don't want them, if you only want them to do, um, let's say, uh, users, you just 
go in there and put read only on the rest of them or no access or full access so dealer settings um, this is where you want to go in and if you're doing TCIP communications and if you have PC security code in all your modules then you would have to go in and put in your PC security code for you know a, a system wide type communication also if you're going into Starlink and you're going to communicate through Starlink you do have to put in your um, passwords for that too so this is the password when you log into the administrative site and you register the radios. And then you do apply. Okay, so depending upon what you want to do, okay, so we'll just get into it a very little bit, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to load a list in there. Okay, so list was not created. So, now you have to go into create a list okay and then I'm just gonna put in test list and that's gonna create my list so if I go into here or I double click on my list okay you're going to see that you have a bunch of different up to 99 accounts that you can actually put into this list okay and then if I want to go in and I want to add an account okay all I'm going to do is or I can double click on the uh, ID code I'm going to click on browse and then you'll see that these are the accounts that are listed within your quick loader. So if I want to add this account to the list, I just do open. Okay, and then whatever transfer operation I want to do, so I can do a download. Um, I can do user codes only, download all, all except user codes, descriptions, download central station number if I want to change that, download TCPI communications configuration. So, and then the log, if I want to do a, uh, a log upload, okay, I can even go in there and do a weekly or a monthly. I can arm the panel if I wanted to. So it gives you some options in there. And then you have your different areas down here. Then you have your account time. Okay, what time do you want it to do it? And then the batch ready. Okay, so it's gonna give you that message and then you would just hit OK. OK, now all up here is just telling me what I'm going to do to the panel. OK, so I'm downloaded, full download on some things, and then the time if I want to set up a time. Now I'm going to get into all of this at a later video because like I said, this is a pretty extensive program and uh, there is a lot to it. But for a basic setup, you can go in there and uh, you, you know just set up your list and then there's different ways to start the list where you can do automated or where you can do a batch now it's called where you just put it in this mode you walk away from your computer and it's just going to start calling everything that you need to do so that's pretty much a setup basic setup for it look for my other videos that I'm going to start doing so this is going to be video one of a multi-part video um, series for the PC preset Thanks for visiting NAPCO Video Tech Tips.